Hi, welcome to Glow's Kendrick Kitchen and I'm Glow. Well, today when we got up, um, Richard had said to me, what's for breakfast, like he always does. And I said, I don't really know today. And he said, how about some Scottish oatmeal? So I said, I'm on for it. So here we go. Um, there's a couple of different kinds of oatmeal. There's a instant oatmeal, quick oat, instant oats. There's old fashioned oats. And um, there's another one that we like a lot as well. It's called Scottish oatmeal. And this cooks up very creamy. And the difference between this and the old fashioned oats is the old fashioned oats are rolled. These are ground by a stone. So um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. And the first thing you do is you measure out the ratio for oatmeal is one cup of uh, oats, this would be for four servings, one cup of oats to three cups of water. So it's one to three. But instead of just using all water, I use half water and half whole milk. So that's what I have in here. I have three cups total, one and a half cups of water and one and a half cups of whole milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in this pan. And what you do is you bring this to a boil. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my burner and I'm gonna turn it up pretty much to high, but you have to watch it pretty close as it's starting to warm up because of the milk in it. You don't wanna scald your milk and burn it on the bottom of your pan. So after this comes to a boil, are, are you know really steamy I will be back and I'll show you the next step hi well welcome back as you can tell the milk and the water in here is already steaming up real well and I'm gonna go ahead and add the salt it calls for a quarter of a teaspoon of salt so I probably won't even put that in um, we have reduced our salt intake by quite a bit and I use uh, sea salt so there uh, that's probably like a smidgen a smidge. A smidge or a smidgen. Not very much. And you can see, and the reason I wait to put my salt in is if I put the salt in this in the very beginning before I heated this up, the salt would go right to the bottom of the pan and it would pit my pan. Not that my pans are perfect, but I try to prevent, you know, damage if I can. No pitting this glove. So I thought I'd show you the difference here between just these two types of oats. This is the Scottish oatmeal that we're using today. This is a cup, I've already measured it out. This is rolled oats. And you can see how you know much bigger these are. And um, both of them are very healthy for you. When you get into the instant oats and stuff, those are not very healthy for you. Um, all the nutrition's been taken out of it. So anyway, I think this is ready for us to go ahead and put our oats in. So what I do is I just slowly pour it in as I'm stirring. And again, the ratio is one to three. So three cups of liquid to one cup of oats. And I had someone ask me just the other day about um, serving size, you know, um, for oats or oatmeal when you're cooking it. And it's serving size, it would be a quarter of a cup of oats. So in other words, if you were cooking this for just one person, you would just use one quarter cup of oats. So I'm just stirring this to bring, you know, it all together nicely. And what I like to do is I like to include all my spices that I do. And you can spice up your oatmeal any way you want. You can even make this savory if you wanted. And sometimes in the evening, that's what we do. But I'm going to use cinnamon, and I'm just going to do a few shakes. One, two, three, four. That's probably plenty. And the same with nutmeg. One, two, three, four. And I've got cardamom here. This is really a good spice too to go with this. And probably about like that much. So that's probably, you know, between an eighth and a quarter of a teaspoon, which is probably about the same amount of these others that I've just included. 
And then I use, we're gonna to use today real maple syrup. And this syrup is from New York, upstate New York. And I'm gonna probably put just a couple of tablespoons in for this amount. One, two. And I just count it out. It might be more like one and a half to two tablespoons. When I say count, I do a slow one for a tablespoon. So one, two would be about two. And the other thing we're going to add as this is cooking is some apple. And this is probably about half a cup to three quarters of a cup of apple. And I leave the peel on. By leaving the peel on, it makes it healthier. And then we have some more, you know, we can put on top. And we're also going to be adding cranberries at the end, you know, if somebody wants cranberries. I know Richard does. That's what I'm putting in mine, Ms. Mm -hmm. You could put raisins or whatever you want. Yep. So anyway, I'm going to bring this back up to a boil. And once it's up to a boil, it'll take 10 minutes to cook. See you then. Hi, well, welcome back. Well, our oatmeal is almost done here. As you can see, it's been cooking for 10 minutes. So that's what they say to do. And you turn your burner down to medium low. And actually, I have mine on the lowest setting right now because it was bubbling up pretty good. My burners tend to run hot, though. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn my stove off. I'm going to put a lid on it and let it set for two minutes, and then it'll be ready. And I'll show you the finished product after it's all done. Well, welcome back. It's been two minutes that we've let this set here. And by doing that, when you let it set, it sets up really nice and gets nice and creamy. And as you can tell here, it does it is very nice and creamy and the milk that you put in with this helps that as well so i'm going to go ahead and dish up some for richard and there was about a half to three quarters of a cup of apple in here that will you know as it was cooking kind of softened up you can put many different types of fruit in your oatmeal as you're cooking it it's up to you you know what you want to do it's your kitchen and some days when I have bananas I want to use up, I put it in it and it is delicious. And you'll put some toasted walnuts in and it's yummy. So anyway, here is the bowl for Richard. And what I do, I use this to set my spoon on as it's cooking. And I set that over this. And that kept my apple, it prevented it from browning. So it's a nice little trick. And we'll go ahead and... Is this enough apple, Richard? That's good, and then I'll okay. put some uh, cranberries yeah, on top. Yeah, and he likes sweetened cranberries on top of his as well. Craisins. So, here we go. Do you want a little milk on it? Uh, no, it's fine. Okay. I think it's good the way it is. All right. I always liked it that way, and that's fine. So, here we go. It's a great, healthy way to start your day. It is delicious. Yep. So anyway, thank you for joining us and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.